Art is a way of thinking. It's a way of living. Um, it's a lifestyle. Inside this old farmhouse on a busy street in Tyler, the perfect place to create. Art has been going kind of in and out of my life because my life has been very full and I like experiences. Jan Widner can be found constructing one stroke, one cut, one piece at a time. I have piles and piles of work that I've done before, and if I don't like them, I tear them up and keep them and use them for collages. Her walls are covered with examples of her work, from watercolors to abstract. I guess I'm going to be typical of any artist, but they're pretty much all my favorite. Some are made from unique materials. Those purple mountains in the back, those are mountains back there. Um, they're made out of paper towels. And so I applied those and didn't think about them as being mountains, but I did that because of the color and the aesthetic value. And then I look back and I go, oh, wow, mountains. Others are inspired from photographs. I've had that 10 years, wanting to draw it. Today, Jan passes her knowledge along to children in her art studio. I mean, it's been the best part of my life. and My life has been great, but this is the most exciting time of my life is teaching these kids to see the world around them in a different way. She teaches them how to see art with variations of color. When I was eight, I started just doing stuff out of my head, but now I'm really getting all the colors and focusing on the picture. I have had some students that come in here who didn't have any natural ability at all. And after three or four years of them working with me, they can draw anything they want. Under the watchful eye of her ever-present critic, she paints a form of expression she hopes will survive generation after generation. I don't think art will ever go away. For CBS 19, I'm J.B. Smith, and that's my story.